how audacious and hairy are your goals? Today's topic is BHAG, or Big Hairy Audacious Goal, a term coined by Jim Collins and Jerry Press in their 1994 book, Built to Last, Successful Habits of Visionary Companies. It's about thinking big, creating a plan for long-term success. It sets a huge goal that drives progress forward and defines a vision for the future, gets everyone working to achieving it. For any company, a BHAG is a foundational area for growth. One example from the book talks about President Kennedy's 1961 famous declaration, this nation shall commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to earth. The result of course was the historic man landing in 1969. When Kennedy made the statement, it was hard to imagine this could be possible. A BHAG focuses on the future, pulling people away from the short-term thinking and just responding to the changing market conditions. Typically, a BHAG focuses on a 10 to 25-year time frame. But when I coach small, mid-sized companies, I tell them to focus on five, five to 10 max, especially technology and emerging industries, because a lot changes quickly. Webster defines audacious as showing a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. Other synonyms, adventurous, courageous, foolhardy, risky. Because the stakes are high, in reality, your chance of making that BHAG is 50-50, maybe 65-75, but it's action-oriented and exciting. Even if you don't achieve it, you will make significant progress in driving change and success. The hairy part of the big, hairy, audacious goal is that it has got a lot of moving parts and a lot of unknowns. It's an aspirational goal driving your business forward. What a BHAG will do, it'll inspire your employees to take action and create a common goal. It provides the guideposts, a lens to view bigger decisions. It'll drive innovation. It drives investment. It may even be the reason why your clients want to do business with you or stay the course. They want to take that journey with you. Your BHAG may focus on beating out competition, increasing standing in the market, driving an internal transformation, or imitating an already successful company. When working with my clients on their BHAG, I focus on two critical success factors. The first, now that you have your BHAG, it's all about execution. Peter Drucker was famous for his alleged quote, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Invite, insightful and important. But another quote, and I'm not sure who it's attributed to, but it's a great quote. Execution eats strategy for lunch. Great strategy isn't what separates great companies from the rest. It's the companies who figure out how to execute and deliver on a simple strategy that's highly repeatable, that returns quality to the customers, value to their investments. That's what truly sets them apart. How do you execute on your behalf? Well, there's really three steps. The first is you need to identify those key thrusts and capabilities that are needed three to five years out to gain that momentum. It could be identifying the acquisition opportunity, selling off a part of the business, geographic product or service line expansion. Now that you've identified these thrusts, drive it down to your key initiatives. What are your annual goals? And finally, get granular with the rocks or the quarterly priorities that you need to move. And remember, this is not something you do once and forget about it. You need to continue to review your strategy every 90 days and tweak the execution plans, make the adjustments necessary for moving forward. Imagine your BHAG is that huge mountain that you want to climb, maybe the Grand Teton. What will it take to get to the various base camps or how do you define your mid-climb? The second critical success factor that I'm passionate about you need to paint the picture of that BHAG, that vision so people can feel it and see it. If you were to beam yourself forward five years, 10, 25, when your BHAG is achieved, what does your organization look like? Who's your team? What are your customers? Or who are your customers? What services are you providing? How will your process and metrics change? How are you disrupting the industry? What's the marketplace saying about you? How does it feel? How does it look? What's different? This is more than just stating your BHAG. 
you need to make it come alive. This is what growth is made of.